Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Poyman, Executive Director of Texas Alliance for Life. Welcome to this week's TALL Update. Today, Friday, is the last day of early voting in the primary runoff election. Now, you might be saying, there's so many elections and I'm just getting tired. Uh, well, let me say, this is an extremely important election because this determines the candidates who will be on the ballot in the general election in November. And these are runoff elections that weren't, weren't fully determined in the March primary election. So if you have voted in the March primary, or if you didn't vote at all, you can participate in this runoff election. Now, today, Friday, is the last day of early voting, but the election day will be on Tuesday. So please, please get involved in this election. If you are lucky enough to receive one of hundreds of thousands of pro-life voter guides that we mailed to you, then you have the information for whom you can support really quality candidates. We did, and you can take this card to the polls uh, either this last day of early voting or on Tuesday the 24th. You can take this right into the polls for you. Where do you vote? Well, we have information in there depending on your county. There's a phone number you can call or you can go to a website that the state provides. If you didn't receive this, just type, go to our website, which is prolifevoterguide.org. It's so easy. You just type in your address and it pulls up those names who are solid, pro-life, endorsed candidate from Texas Alliance for Life. They'll come up on your screen. It'll give you a place to find where you can vote. You can print that out and you can take that information right into the polls. Folks, there are very few people that participate in this so that when you vote, your vote is extremely important. Let me tell you about some of those candidates that we've endorsed. Now, for everyone who lives in Texas, you can participate and you can vote for at least three names. Very important statewide candidates. And I'll tell you who we have endorsed. Um, Ken Paxton for Attorney General. Ken Paxton is doing a fantastic job defending the attacks against the pro-life laws. He's defending those in state courts. He's defending those in federal courts. He's been doing a fantastic job. For the land office, Commissioner of General Land Office, Dawn Buckingham, she's a former state senator, extremely pro-life, we strongly endorse her. For Railroad Commissioner, which is the state agency that regulates oil and natural gas, that's Wayne Christian. Now, everyone in Texas can get out and vote and vote for at least those three candidates. But there's a number of other races that you can get involved in, and let me explain some of those. These are, uh, there's a state senate race. State senate, there's only 31 state senators all of them we need to be extremely pro-life and please get out if you're in senate district 24 um, that is pete flores pete flores for state senate district 24. now let me let me kind of click off some of these names for state representative all very important and again you may not know what your district is just go to prolifevoterguide.org put in your address it will tell you everything but let me click these off in house district state house district 12 kyle cassell State House District 19, Ellen Traxclair. State House District 23, Patrick Gursky. House District 52, Patrick McGinnis. House District 60, Glenn Rogers. House District 61, Frederick Frazier. House District 63, Ben Baumgartner. House District 70, Jamie Jolly. House District 73, Baron Castile. House District 85, Phil Stevenson. House District 91, Stephanie Click. House District 93, Laura Hill. House District 122, Alisa Chan. House District 133, Mano Deyala. Now, if you live in Bear County, you can vote for, to reelect your Republican County Chair, and we strongly recommend John Austin. So, folks, Please get out and vote yourself. Encourage your friends, neighbors, members of your family. Everyone needs to get out and vote in this runoff election. ProLifeVoterGuide.org, it makes it so easy. And, and let me just say, for on behalf of Texas Alliance for Life, our board, our staff, all our volunteers, we depend on you voting for these pro-life candidates. It is impossible to, to pass protective pro-life legislation in our capital in Austin and in Washington, D.C., for that matter, without 
good pro-life members of the legislature and in the Congress. Please get out and vote for these candidates. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.